if you're a small business owner and you are into the e-commerce business that's um that's um buying and selling of products online or you own an e-commerce store i want to tell you that there is there is um every likelihood that you are leaving a lot of money on the table yes what do i mean by this um i'm trying to describe a scenario whereby you sell online um you are into the e-commerce business model and you see you um, sell your products online or you own an e-commerce store online and um you sell products what i initially meant by you are leaving a lot of money on the table is you place your um you place an advert for your product online people come to your website or probably people come into your um e-store and they're ordered for products and they just leave your website like that that is exactly what i was trying to say when i said you are leaving a lot of money on the table it's actually not meant to be that way have you ever thought of um a situation whereby you own a physical store somebody walks into your store to get something and um let me just say not even dr during the process probably when the um the uh, buyer is already done buying everything he or she wants to buy have you ever thought of you introducing such a customer to other related products there's other products that are likely to complement the product they just bought for example somebody walks into your physical store now i'm not talking about the e-store somebody walks into your physical store physical store sorry and let me say you you sell um you sell a product like like an iphone so the person walks into your store to get an iphone and after getting the iphone have you ever thought of you um trying to upsell such customer what do i mean by upsell trying to introduce the customer to another product that is likely to complement their initial purchase for example in this scenario of buying an iphone now it could be you introducing the um the buyer or the customer to to an airport or to other apple related products to um to a pouch what about that it might it, it might not even be um it might not be an apple related product it might just be another product complementing their initial purchase so for the customer having gotten the iphone you can introduce the um you can introduce a pouch or even a screen guard and a scratch to such a customer that's 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 what we call an upsell and that is the main reason i said if you are into an online business like buying and selling um probably not even buying and selling majorly the selling aspect of it if you sell your products online that's e-commerce and let's say you own an e-store that is why i said initially that you are likely to be leaving a lot of money on the table so now guys in this video i'll be showing you how to increase your aov or ACV what do I mean by OEV your average order value or your average cart value how to increase your AOV or ACV and sell more of your products with order bumps upsells and downsells so in this case now I'll be showing you guys how to set up your e-commerce store probably you have a single product sales page and you want your customers after they place order for a particular product you place an advert for you want them to see um, other products you have that are likely to complement what they just bought. You understand? So that is exactly what I'll be showing you in this video. I will walk you through how to set up an order bumps, an order bump rather, a upsell and a downsell for your product, a particular product you are selling. Now, guys, I want you to know that this video uh, i i never intend to make it long i'm not planning to make it long but along the line maybe based on one or two things this video might likely be long it might end end up being longer than what i planned for it and why is this i want you guys to get every details of this thing i'm going to show you i want you to get everything about it i want to make sure you are able to set up 
a sales page that would lead your buyers or your customers that will lead them after even after buying your product that will link them to more of your products this is not this is not the normal case whereby people place um, people place an order for your product online and after they place the order you are showing them we have more of these products we have no 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 it's not something like that it's not something like that is this is not um, um should i call it a situation where customers will start seeing a more related product no this would happen right at the spot where they are placing their orders whereby they'll be able to add those products to their present orders and immediately they click on place order button all the products will be added to their orders so rather than a customer placing an order for say a ten thousand dollar product they might end up buying products worth of fifty thousand naira because you've added another bump you've added an upsell and you've added a downsell way of selling to that particular um to that particular um what should i call it to that particular selling structure you understand so guys and another thing i would also like to chip in like i said earlier this video i never intend making it long but if i have any vital information to add to it i'll quickly chip it in now another thing i want to show you guys is this model i'm trying to show you now is usually common not even common most people don't even do it they don't know except the um e-commerce gurus they know about upsells downsell bots people selling online they just create a one page uh, um um a one page product sale um how do i put it they just create um they create one page um product sales page let me just put it that way they create a single product sales page let me put it that way they create a single product sales page and once the buyer come to place another they just place another for the product and leave you understand so this um, model i'm trying to show you now it's let me say it's easier when you have um an e-store it's easier when you have an e-store let's say what do i mean by that let's say you have a website you've installed um you've installed woocommerce on your website i think you should know what woocommerce is if you do for those that do not know what um what woocommerce is woocommerce is like a plugin that would help you that will help you set up your e-store on your website so once you install the plugin it would help you create it to um let me say to turn your website to an e-commerce store whereby you'll be able to add products you'll be able to people will be able to add to cards you understand so this model i'm trying to show you now is more easier if you have woocommerce installed on your on your website but what what about what 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 about people people that are not ready to install woocommerce on their website actually you have to install woocommerce but another thing i have to quickly chip in is for people using woocommerce to advertise or to set up their um e-commerce store one of the things they do is they install woocommerce on their websites they have products there then they send traffic to their websites the mistake they are making there is they are actually sending people to to a place where they they, they they might get confused you understand this is where the concept of a single product sales page comes in you can't compare somebody running and hard sending people to a particular website uh, let me not say website sending people to um to an e-store an online store you can't compare such person to um to somebody sending traffic to a single product sales page you understand now the difference is if you are sending people to your e-store e or your online store you are just sending traffic to your online store you want people to see there there is actually a room for that you can do that but if you really want to make sales that's not the best way to do it whatever products you are trying to sell you have to create 
you have to create a single product sales page for that particular product whereby on that sales page it's going to be that particular product alone that you have on that sales page so it will just look like this you are sending people from your advert to that product no distraction then you are telling them to take a particular particular action on that website which is to buy that product you understand on that sales page not even the website now on the sales page so you have a particular product on that sales page and it's that same product they are going to see till they place an order for that product you can't compare such model to another person sending traffic or sending people to a website whereby they see different products the implication there is that people you are sending to that website might end up not even buying anything because they will get overwhelmed they will see a lot of products and as they scroll they scroll they scroll they are likely to just skip skip it and probably they get distracted and they end up not placing another so that's one disadvantage of sending people directly to a website you rather send people to a particular product page to see that product and you tell them to take a particular action which is to buy that that main product you understand so that's one thing i quickly want to chip in now in this kind um this kind of situation now it's it's usually not very easy to create other bombs to create upsells and to create downsells for a single product sales page you understand and that is the essence of this video i want to show you a trick to create other bombs to create upsells and downsells for your single product sales page you understand a sales page whereby you are selling a particular product and from there they can actually add other products to their order you understand so that is what we call increasing your average order value or increasing your average cut value you understand so now guys i will be jumping right into my screen now to walk us through that simple process so just make sure you stick to the processes and do the things i do as well so firstly guys i want to show you this graph this is what i was talking about this is the initial way people sell online those selling products they send traffic to their sales page like this so people click on the product they add to cart then they, they go to checkout page and in most cases some people don't even use checkout pages the product they are selling will be on that single single um product sales page now beneath the um sales page they'll have another form where people would will fill and um which people will fill and submit to place their orders you understand so that's just the one way pattern of selling it's just the one way pattern of selling and this is why i said you are leaving a lot of money on the table now you can't compare this model with this model imagine this model someone landing on your sales page they see the product they click on the products and the product takes them to a checkout page where they fill the form you understand where they fill their customer order details so and on that same page you are introducing them to another product not a totally different product but a product related to the one they are just buying that that could complement what they are just buying like the other example i gave the other time for somebody selling an iphone you can add an order bump telling them to buy a screen guard or an airport you understand do you know with that now you have increased your average cut value the initial customer the customer was initially meant to buy an iphone now the the customer is adding a screen guard to his or her order and even af after that after clicking up place an order they would further be introduced to other products i know somebody might be thinking oh is this not too much you can actually get somebody pissed out no one thing about selling is if a person could flip out their wallet to buy 
the smallest of your products that person is likely to pay more for your product to buy more of your product you understand so it means you've broken that their resistance to buy for them to show interest in your product there is every likelihood that they will buy more from you you understand so that's the psychology behind this order bump up sales and down sales and this is exactly what i'll be showing you how to do this so guys we are back what you want to do now is the first thing you have to do the first thing you have to do is you need to install woocommerce on your websites you need to install woocommerce it's a plugin you can install it if you have your website already you can install it but if your website is newly set up you can install and you need a team you can install um astra team it comes with woocommerce so i can recommend that so these are the things we are going to be needing to do that so we need woocommerce to be installed on our website we need this particular plugin upsell order bump offer for woocommerce and we need this particular one as well one click upsell funnel for woocommerce so i'll be showing us how to do that right away so to install for those that already have their website set up in case you don't know how to set up your website i have a video on that maybe you can check that out you can check that out so you go to plugins like this you click on add new plugins then you come here and you type WooCommerce trying to see the particular one I installed okay guys this is it this particular one I already have this one installed on my website so make sure you install this particular WooCommerce plugin you understand so and for those that wants to install a team that comes with the woocommerce plugin like i made mention of here if you install this particular team say you don't have um, a team on your website already you can actually install this team it comes with this plugin and some other things you would need i would even recommend you install this astra team because it comes with woocommerce and some other things you need or some other things the WooCommerce plugin would need to function effectively you understand so you don't start installing things in pieces so it's better you just install the Astra team that doesn't stop your website from functioning well you can deactivate it or delete the team if you don't want it but for this purpose or for somebody selling online you need it so you install the Astra team that comes with WooCommerce or you install the WooCommerce plugin itself and whatever it is you need after installing it maybe you come back to to search for it and install it so that is that that is done so the next thing now is to install the this particular plugin called upsell order bump offer for woocommerce let me see if i can copy this okay so i just search for it okay I already have all these plugins installed on my website so this is it here this is it as you can see this is it so you install this particular plugin so like I said earlier now if you are installing WooCommerce plugin separately on your website that's if you are not following the other method I gave which is to install the Astra team 
that comes with WooCommerce and some other plugins you um, the WooCommerce plugin would need. If you're installing it separately, let's say you're installing the WooCommerce plugin separately, you will need all these other plugins. And you might have to start installing them one after the other yourself. You, you need this one, you need this one. You understand? So that's why I said I'll be recommending installing the alpha team that comes with the WooCommerce um, plugin. So this is what we need. This is the first plugin we need. Upsell other bump offer for WooCommerce. You install it, you um, install and activate it, not just install it, you install and activate it. So secondly, we need this, this, and make sure the one you are installing is by this WP Swings. You check it. Let me see the one I just highlighted now. As you can see, by WP Swings. So now we are installing this one click upsell funnel for WooCommerce. Let me paste it here. Make sure you are typing exactly what I typed. Okay, this is it. One click upsell funnel for WooCommerce. Install and activate it. So once we are done, the next thing we want to do is you should I want to believe you have um a single product sales page because I already have a video that talked about um all these things. So the video talks about building um a sales page, a single product sales page, um and so many other things concerning concerning building a sales page. So you might want to watch out for the um video. So now I want to believe you have a single product sales page and if you don't know what a single product sales page is, a single product sales page is um is a page on your website that has only one product to sell, no other products. So the objective of a single product sales page is to sell one product. It's not like a website where you have so many products, advertise so many products to to your website visitors. So that particular page carries a particular product that you are selling. It has the pictures of the product, um, probably the videos or the video of the product and some other descriptions like the features, the benefits about the product. So everything about that page is about a particular product. So that's what we call a single product sales page. So let me show you an example of a simple product sales page. Where is my this is an example of a single product sales page all pages let me see I have a product that sells an anti theft bag let me see view let's see this is not a complete okay This is a single product sales page, guys. As you can see, this is a single product sales page. So it sells this particular product. As you can see, it sells this particular product. Just this product alone. This is it. So now, what I'm trying to achieve with this video is once a person gets to this page and they're able to go through the page like this and they get to this particular section actually I won't be adding this field other form because this form I added this form using a plugin which is um, the ninja form but I won't be going through that process because I don't want them to just fill out this other form and click on submit like that and that will be the end of the transaction i want them taken to a page where they will see some other products related to their initial purchase so i might be using um another sales page that might likely be a different product or even this particular product let me see i think i have let me check another page that I can use for this purpose. Let me see this 
Oh, that one. Let me see what this entails. Okay, I think this one is good. Get free power bank. Oh, this is crazy. Wow. <laughs> I don't even have a sales speed like this. Wow, this is great. Okay, okay. Okay, I think I'll be making use of this particular page. Now, what I'll be doing on this page is let me open in Elementor. Let me open my website. This so this is my e-commerce website. So what I'm actually trying to achieve is let me open store first. You know this is a website now. People make the mistake of sending people to a website like this where <coughs> people make the mistake of sending people to a website like this where they have varieties of products and at the end you get your website visitors confused they won't even know which of your products to buy they scroll and scroll and scroll and at the end of the day they just get overwhelmed and get distracted eventually so this is why we have what we call a single product sales page something like this you understand as you can see on this website this is the product here anti-theft backpack and this is a single product sales page for that same product you understand so i could have made the mistake of sending people to this website or to this let me say to this particular I've clicked on the product okay I could have made the mistake of sending people to this page of my website. you understand but the, the implication is a customer might get to this website now having read the description and some other things a customer might just scroll down and see some other related products and this is what you want them to buy this particular product so they scroll down they see other products they click on the product, they start browsing your website. This is the implication. This is just the disadvantage of sending people to your website to make purchase. It's better you send them to a single product sales page so that they don't get distracted. You understand? So I have the product. This is the product on my website. But I went further creating a single product sales page for that product. So if I want to sell that product particularly, I just send traffic here. They look at the um product features and benefits if they're interested they go ahead to fill the form to fill this form but in this particular video i won't be making use of this form i'll be sending them to to a page like this let me say add to cards so the product has been added to cards let me say checkout So just follow the video and be attentive so i want to send them to a page like this because this objective i'm trying to achieve using the other bombs the upsells and the downsell this objective can only be achieved on this checkout page and you can only make use of this checkout page if you have woocommerce installed on your website you understand if you have WooCommerce plugin installed on your website, that is when you can make use of this page, this checkout page, to create another bump offer, to create an upsell, and to create a downsell. You understand? You can't do that with a single product sales page like this. It's not possible. So, 
now the parts would be like this you send a customer or you send traffic to your website like this to this single not even your website to this single product sales page let's say you are selling this particular product this bag so you send people to um to this website so let's walk through the customer's journey now let's say i'm a customer i i saw this ad i clicked on it and i'm landing on this page now so i scroll down this way i read everything about the products I read every everything about the products and below this page I think I need to remove this form let me remove this form first let me remove this form let me remove the form let me remove it I'll bring it back let me create another button a button like this let me duplicate this copy paste in fact i actually have okay let me not go through the stress let me use a a single product sales page i've created that's that's that actually went through this process I don't want to start making things long here. Let me close this ones. Let me close this ones. I don't need them anymore. Leave. Leave. Let me close this one. So guys, this is a product I'm presently selling. Look at this product now. This is a product I'm presently selling. And it's a single product sales page, as you can see. It's a vacuum cleaner for car. So this is a single product sales page. So beneath this particular page now, I have I have these two buttons. So the customer can either place another via whatsapp whereby they come directly to to um to my dm to place their order or they click on this particular button so for you to be able to achieve this uh, particular process i'm trying to show you number one you need like i said earlier you need to install to have installed woocommerce on your websites and you need to have installed these two plugins that I showed you so now what you do is you can actually construct your sales page to be as, as exactly as this it might actually not be like this as you can see how this one looks like as you can see it so these buttons the click here to order button takes them directly to this important notice because I want them to read through this notice before they place their orders so once they are done reading this notice they can scroll down to proceed with their orders so now the two major buttons we need on this page not even this ones this will take them to this notice as well the two buttons we need on this page are this particular one and this one we need these two buttons this takes them directly to my um, whatsapp dm like i said earlier and this takes them to the checkout page and now the checkout page you can only get where is the checkout page this is the checkout page you can only get to make use of this checkout page only if you have woocommerce installed on your website you understand so it will just look as if somebody's um somebody's placing another for a product from your website normally somebody is placing another for this product let me go back and use the vacuum cleaner this is the vacuum cleaner here as you can see it 
so i can actually send somebody to my website to buy this product to buy this particular product this is it i can send them here it's better i don't send them to a place like this i can actually send them here to this particular page i just copy the link and add to my um to uh, and add the link to my and to the ad i'm running probably a facebook ad or google ad or whatever platform i'm running my ad so i just add this link so now i can send somebody to this page now to place another for this product but the implication like i said they like scrolling down or getting distracted by all these things here yeah. all these footers men women accessories you understand and we don't want all these distractions we want them to land on a page like this on a page like this a single product sales page like this that is the, a, a page that is advertising that particular product to them you understand so they just scroll down no discussions no distractions no header no footer no nothing nothing it's just the product and telling them to take a particular action which is to order on whatsapp or to proceed to fill another form so now i've created this page now how do i now bring them you can't just bring them directly from this page to this checkout page where's the checkout page once more to this checkout page as you can see i can only get access to this checkout page on my woocommerce store my e-commerce store so the trick i'm going to show you guys now is how to link your single product sales page like this how to link your single product sales page how to link it to your woocommerce checkout page so that you can be able to advertise more products to your customers i hope you guys get that you can only advertise more products to them through the um you can only advertise more products to them using other bombs and upsell you can only do all these things through the woocommerce um plugin that's you need to have woocommerce set up on your website you understand now where we are now breaking the barrier is we don't want them to come to um to place another through through our e-store that's through the website we want them to place another through this single product sales page and once they click on the other button it takes them to to a checkout page like this and this checkout page is where the deal is going to happen where we are going to set up the other bombs the upsells and the downsells i hope you guys get that now so now what we want to do is say you have a page like this let me open in elementor because you have to do little editing okay i think i already opened the page this is the page here now let's say you've created your single product sales page like this this is your single product sales page you are just done designing the sales page and you have your buttons you have your warnings like this this warnings are very funny warnings you have to warn people before they place order people just come to your website and they disturb and they leave without the intention of placing another so we need to include things like this to ward off on serious buyers as you can see serious buyers only so now the two major buttons we need here are this button this particular one and this particular one this takes them to my dm let me click on it as you can see this is the link it takes them to my whatsapp dm now this other one should take them to this checkout page where we will be able to add an order bump and what's the um essence of the order bump to show them other products related to their initial purchase you understand now this particular products now this is my elemental environment this particular product what i did was i added the link of that product of this product let me see let me see
stores I added the link of these products this particular products I added the link here this is the link here this is the link here you understand so once they click on this link it brings them to to a page like this let me remove this add to cards checkouts so once they click on this button here it brings them to a page like this where the products will have been added to carts and they can what they can easily make purchase here now the barrier now is that how will you be able to add a link that will directly lead them from this single product sales page to this checkout page that is exactly what I'll be showing us now I'll be going back to my um, dashboard now this particular product you are selling that you've created a single product sales page for make sure you've added that product to your WooCommerce store to your e-store so how do you do that you come to products like this come to products click on add new products then you had the name of the product let me use the product I have already just follow the steps guys it's a really easy step where's my WooCommerce let me click on add new product then all products I want to show you guys something I don't want to start creating new products. This is where you had a new product. This is the product I've already added. This is the product here. But I'll be going to that particular edit screen. Click on edit like this. I want to show you guys how to add a product now as you can see you come here WooCommerce you click on add new products so once you click on this add new product it brings you to this page to this empty page it brings you to a page like this add product name you add the product name you add the product description you add the product short description then you had the product image yes set product image and you can add more products more pictures of that product you understand you can add it here but we actually don't need all of that what we need is we want that product to be on our e-commerce store we want it to be on the shelf because we need the product id so the product ID is what we are going to make use of that would enable people to click on this this link that will enable people to click on this button and that would bring them to this to a checkout page like this so and for us to get a um, product ID number we have to add that product to our e-commerce store to our e-store and that is exactly what I'm showing you guys. So you had the product type two, you had the product description, you had the product short descriptions, you set the product image, then you can add other um, pictures for that product. Now this is what you end up having. You end up having something like this. This is the product name. This is the product description, long description. As you can see, this is the product short description you can see you can set the primary image of the um, product here like I showed you here you click on set product image then you had the image from your um, gallery 
you add the image then you can set other product images as you can see here yeah, i can have so this is what you end up having so once you're able to do that you click on update or publish in your own case you might say publish you publish it so we need the product id and where do we, where do we get that let me go back to my dashboard this is where you get your product id let me close this you come here go to products click on all products like this so once you're able to add the product to your e-commerce store you should have the product already added like this you see it alongside other products probably other products pre-added to the e-store so now you over around that particular product you just added remember you've created a single product sales page for that product like i did in my own case this is a single product sales page for it already set up so our product so now you need the product id for example in my own case let's say i just added this product now you come to remember how i got here products all products then you see the product you just added to your e-store now you hover around it and look at this thing id this is your product id this is the product id on your e-commerce or your on your um e-store on your shelf so you need this id we need this id for us to be able to achieve our objective which is bringing people to this checkout page once they click on this button proceed to fill other form now the trick here is you would have something like this make sure you copy link address normally on your, on your checkout page you would have this link you understand everything has been embedded the process of adding these products to your um to your cards and bringing you to your checkout page the process everything has been embedded you can't see it it has been done via scripts script writing you understand so you can't see it now for us to be able to break this the invisible um links that they've created to bring people to this page just make use of this my own link as you can see it here look at it check out then make use of this last link equal to then you had the idea of the product you are selling the idea of the product you you want to be automatically added to your cards you understand for example now let me remove this product from cards just follow the process guys let me remove the product from cards updates i want to remove the, the product from cards i don't even need to return to shop for example if i just paste check out like this as you can see this link check out like this and I click on the enter button it will tell me no product has been added to my cards that checkout page will never load as you can see your cart is currently empty just follow the process guys this is where the trick is now let me add the checkout so you need that product to be added to your cart but you can't do that yourself let me say checkout except the person goes through your website to hard to cut and do some other things check out now you had you had this particular thing initially we are supposed to have something like this check out now you had this one to it you can write it out somewhere or type it you had this to it add to cards then you had the product id and in this case the product id for this product for this particular product here this particular product 
the product ID is I can find it here this is the product ID 4899 so you just come here you had the product ID you had the product ID 4899 then just try it by clicking on enter this the particular products that owns this ID will be automatically added to your cards on the checkout page as you can see can you see it now let's say you want to add another product let me remove this one and let me make use of another product so you guys can be sure sure of what I'm doing update I don't need this again so let me see this is it let me say I want to add I want to add for I want to add for this let me use another product entirely let me say I want to add for this particular product look at the product ID 4501 okay I would come back here like this then I'll remove this one I'll type 4501 enter it will automatically add that product to my cards and takes it to to the checkout page as you can see as you can see guys this is the product here this is the product here so this is one way to so once you have the link like this you can copy the link copy out the link then you go back to your single product sales page then you had the link remember the link has this product ID then you had the link to this button from inside your elemental environment you just click it like this I just want to believe you know how to set up your sales page like this with these buttons and how to add link so you copy the link like this copy the link then go back to your elemental click on the button then add the link here so whenever anybody lands on your um, product sales page like this on that particular product you want to sell that particular product you have added the ID to this button so whenever anybody click uh, lands on the page like this and they click on this proceed to fill other form button it takes them to the checkout page directly the checkout page for that product for that particular product you're advertising from your single product sales page I hope you guys get that so it takes them directly to that product checkout page like this and why did that happen because you have added the product ID and the old link that will bring them to the checkout page you have added it to this button from within your elemental environment you have added it to this button so um, why are we doing this the reason we are doing this is for us to be able to sell more products to them and not just to sell the particular product we are advertising and for us to be able to sell more products to them we only we can only do that using the um, WooCommerce checkout page this is actually a trick to do it bringing people from your single product sales page to a checkout page where you can upsell them where you can introduce them to more products you understand now this is one phase of our journey just completed let me remove this from cards we are actually not making use of of this particular product remove updates I don't need it anymore so in your own what's this So in your own case, you'd have something like this. Let me show it to you. You have something like this, 
once they land on the product sales page like this and they are able to go through the products description and everything and they and eventually click on this button this proceed to fill out a form button like this once they click on it like this it brings them straight to this page to this page to this page like this it brings them to this page to that product checkout page and as you can see the link here we are able to achieve this now because we have added a checkout page with a link to this product which is this add to cards equal to 4899 so the very first thing you want to do before you can actually achieve this thing now is you need to um, add that product to your e-store like I showed you guys earlier you add the product from this place then add new product then you make use of the product ID you make use of the product ID like this you need a link like this from here to this particular checkout then add to cards exactly like this then you just add make use of this link and just add your own product ID you understand then you copy the old link you bring it to your to your product sales page like this from within your um, your elemental environment you click on the button then you add the product link here including a product link that has included the product ID make sure there's no mistake so they don't click on the proceed to fill out a form button and it takes them to another product entirely make sure it's that same product ID so now the next thing we want to do now is once we are able to create the single product sales page like this and we've been able to add this the link to this remember we're making use of this button this is the button that will take them to the checkout page a checkout page that would have the product already added in the cart so once you're able to add the link here and they're able to click on it and they're able to land on this page like this Let me remove some things from the cards. As you can see me removing this thing. Now the only advantage of making use of that link is if somebody lands 4899 if somebody lands on the checkout if somebody follows that link to land on this checkout page for this product like this as you can see it's writing times two if if the customer refreshes like this it automatically adds that product to that to the cart again it adds the product to cart it adds the product to cart the more they refresh the more products that's the only disadvantage but I don't I don't want to believe there will be any customer that would get to this checkout page and just click on the refresh button so once they land there their major business is just to place an order for the products they want to buy so but the more they refresh on the page the more the products will be added to the carts as you can see so I have to reduce it updates and check out so we can have the actual one product so once they're able to click on let me go back and show you guys how everything has been done I want to take you through the customers journey now the buyers journey no products in the cart let me close it let me come here cut flow 
let's say I want to get the products let's say I'm on the product page okay let's say I click on an ad I want to take you through the buyers journey now I click on the ad like this let's say I have gone through the I've gone through everything on the page like this and I decide to place an order for the products and I clicked on this button like this then it takes me to the checkout page because I've added this you understand so now it brings me here like this this is the product as you can see so now guys the next step is adding an order bump to this checkout page initially this checkout page should be like this should look like this let me show you guys something edit fresh now the checkout page should look like this the checkout page should look something like this and they just click on place order let me remove one of the products I want it to look exactly the way it should look but don't mind the refresh and the automatic adding of the products no customer will get to that page and keep refreshing no they just proceed now it should look like this just one product you understand it should look like this so let's say they're able to land on this page like this this is the normal way this checkout page should look like you understand they've added the product to cards like and they click on place order for the product now this is where I say you are leaving a lot of money on the table because you can actually advertise more products that are related to this the initial purchase you can advertise more products to them and you can do that through order bombs through upsell and through down sales now the first process I'll be showing you is through the order bump I won't be creating any other bump um, I won't be showing you guys how to create other bumps from scratch because I already have a video on that you can watch watch the video and you know how to set up other bump properly so in fact I've actually achieved the goal for this particular video it's only my main goal for this particular video is to show you guys how to bring people from your single product sales page to this checkout page using the customized link once you're able to get to this checkout page then every other thing you should be able to do the other bomb the upsell the downsell which is this which is this once you're able to get to the checkout page then the creation of the other bomb there's a video for that so you can create another bomb you can create the upsell you can create every other thing before they finally check out so instead rather than a customer just placing an order for this particular product you would have the customer seeing another product beneath this particular one telling them you are giving them this particular product for an um for a discounted price for an offer price you understand so they are likely to be interested then they click on the products and the products will be automatically added to their cards it will be automatically added to this order so rather than the customer just buying this 26,000 naira product the customer will end up buying this product and another product that is if they're interested now how do you create an order bump offer you come to let's say this is a fresh dashboard like this now 
remember I tell I talked about remember I talked about installing this plugin upsell other bomb so this is where we need the plugin so once you're able to install that plugin you have something like this I want to believe the plugin has been installed you've installed the plugin you have something like this then you click on it I'll just brief you guys how to set up an order bump offer then you have something like this it might in your own case it may be blank that's why I said you need to watch that video on how to create other bumps so it might tell you to create a new order bump then you cl click on create new order bumps so once you click on it it brings you to an environment like this like this the first thing you want to do is turn this this thing on life it then you start creating your order bump offer now let me brief you guys about it i actually don't want to do this but so once you are able to get to this place turn this on now it's asking you the order bump offer you're trying to create which product is your target product as you can see in my own case the plugin will automatically detect the products you have on your e-store all the products you have on your e-store the products you have added to your e-store the plugin will detect it so you can easily just type in the name of the products or the product id it will pop up then you add it as the select target product that's the plugin is trying to ask you that which product are you creating this order bump for you can you have the product here so once you're able to do that you scroll down you don't have any business with it again now you create the order bump offer itself now on this op um this part of the screen this offer products you click on this particular place now the products you want to add as um as an order bump offer mind you you should have added that product as well to your e-store through add new product process i showed you guys the other time so you should have added the product to your e-store so once you get here you click on this place then you type the product you want to offer them or the product you want to add as an um order bump offer you type the product here the product pops up then you select the products so that means whenever anybody tries to place an order for this selected target products whenever anybody try, tries to place an order for this products this particular product comes up as an order bump offer as you can see it's this particular one now let me save this let me go back to my checkout page as you can see the checkout page so I'm going to refresh now I'm going to refresh now I don't need this I'm going to refresh now as you can see it's not the other bump is not here I just turned it on yeah I just turned it on now so once I refresh it's going to come up let me refresh as you can see guys this is it here this is it so for a customer to have landed on your checkout page like this their initial intention was to purchase this one the intention was to purchase this particular product now they've seen it they've filled in their details everything their names their contacts they've agreed to your terms of delivery now they scroll down they've seen the products they want to order for now with the hope of scrolling down and just placing an order ordinarily this your offer would disrupt them they'll see this particular offer this is what we call an order bump offer so they see this offer like this get this offer for so 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 so, so. and it's a product related to their initial purchase this product is meant for car users to clean their cars and this one is meant to watch their car as you can see 
the products are related it's not the case whereby you are selling the vacuum cleaner and you are using um what should i even call it and you are you are using um a wristwatch as another bump they will just ignore it so make sure the product you are offering as an other bump is related to the product to their initial purchase so imagine this vacuum cleaner now and i'm up i'm creating another bump offer with um an expandable car wash magic hose so they are related they are both for cleaning their cars so they are likely to be interested interested in this product so imagine now a customer was initially meant to buy this twenty six thousand dollar product but before they place another they found this product either they're interested in it or not you are not losing out this is their main interest they are likely to be interested in this and you actually get a percentage of customers that will be interested in this product so this is where i say you are you are increasing your average order value or your average cart value because once they are able to click on this that's there to show interest on it in it like this by clicking on this um this checkbox the, this product automatically adds to their cards as you can see it here see this is their total sum now if they are no longer interested and they click on it the product will be re removed from the cards so don't you think this would increase your profits and it will help you sell more of your products this particular process you understand so that is how the process is that is how the process is and this is where we ended this video this is where we ended this video so another thing that is likely to happen is once they are able to click on the place order button like this this is just the order bump offer once they click on the place order button like this it takes them to an upsell to an upsell like this you understand let me click on this place order now rather than just checking out directly it brings them to another offer well, in this case i'm using same offer the same expandable magic os as an upsell so imagine a customer trying to buy a vacuum cleaner and through that process they found another bump offer selling them another thing they and they decide to add it to their order that is two products now now clicking on place order it brings them to another upsell page like this if they are interested in this product they add it again to their offer that's three products rather than the, the customer buying just the products they will end up buying three products and your profits end up increasing your average card value ends up increasing your average order value ends up increasing so that is the scope behind it now to create an um, upsell for your products there's a video on that you can just search through and watch the video on how to create an upsell like this so you take them through the journey through this kind of journey from your sales page to the checkout page where on the checkout page there will be an order bump form and from the checkout page you take them to the upsell from the upsell you can still take them to another upsell or you take them to a downsell a downsell is selling a product that is less expensive compared to this upsell the upsell two is selling a product that is more expensive than the upsell one they are likely to be interested you have nothing to lose if they are not interested they said no and at the end of the day they just buy the products they initially came for but why not still show them they are likely to be interested that is the concept behind the other bump the upsell and the downsell so to create the upsell and the downsell now let me show you guys how to be about that let's say this is your dashboard your fresh dashboard and this is the other plugin i told you to install this other one this is the plugin you use to create your upsell and your downsells install this plugin now come back to your dashboard come to you go to one click upsell you click on it 
there's actually a video for that so you can go watch that i just want to show you guys how it looks like it brings you to a page like this in your own case it will tell you to create new funnel but in my own case let me open the view or edit so you can see how it goes so it's going to pop up something like this you turn on this one in your own case it's going to be in a sandbox the um sandbox states so you life it first then name of the funnel you can just name the funnel select target products like the other one still same products you don't need anything again then what is the offer you want to give to them as an upsell then you select the offer here type in the product name it will automatically detect the product from your e-store type in the product name type in the price you can upload an image if you want and if not then it will ask you after the buy now that's after the customer clicks on the buy now button where should they go to this is where you create the upsell to or the downsell you can either tell them to go to the thank you page directly or you tell them to go to another product that you are giving them as an offer so to create all of those things upsell one upsell two there's a video for that you can go watch that on how to create your upsell so guys that is just the simple way to increase your average order value and sell more of your products with other bombs upsells and downsells this is typically the routes you are taking them through from your adverts to your sales page to your checkout page and i've given us the trick to lead them or to link them or to take them from your sales page to your checkout page i've given us the trick to doing that using that link that i provided and you should have installed woocommerce on your website so you take them from your sales page to your checkout page then you create another bump for that particular product you are advertising you should have created another bump so that whenever they click on the um place your order or whatever button you you've included on the sales page whenever they click on the button it takes them to the checkout page and the other page appears if you did not assign any other page to that product it's not going to come up so make sure that that bump that other bump of is attached to that product that you're selling so that it can pop up on your checkout page so once they're able to show interest or probably they they are not showing interest they ignored it and they click on place order for their initial product it brings them to an upsell it's just like a customer walking to your store after they've gotten what they want to get you introduce them to other products they are likely to be interested if somebody could walk into your store to get a bag a lady could walk into your store to get a bag they are more likely to get um to get footwears from your store yes so it's just a way of showing them more of the products that are related to the initial purchase and it's a way of you selling more of your products online so you can just follow this simple i call it a profitable e-commerce sales funnel you can just follow this simple process that i've shown you guys to increase your average card value to increase your profits and to sell more of your products so that's just the simple way to go about that guys for the last last time let me show you how how the journey is going to look like this is the product i'm selling here let me say no no thanks i would like to skip this one time offer now it's going to take them to the other summary page as you can see this is it this is the other summary page so it shows they're only buying their initial products they are not interested in the order bump the upsell or anything so they're only making purchase for the initial products and in this case you have nothing to lose and they have nothing to lose as well so now let me close this let's say let me now take you through the whole customer journey process now let's say i'm a customer i landed on this page like this i scroll down i've read everything about the products 
and I clicked on proceed to fill other form like this it takes me to the checkout page as you can see this link so it's bringing me to this particular page because I've added this link with this ID to that button like I said earlier I have to keep repeating this so it brings me to this checkout page like this the product has been automatically added to carts as you can see so let's say I'm a customer I've filled in all my customers order details now this is the product here now the other bump offer would appear like this let's say I'm interested like this I just check on the other bump offer then it adds to my initial order as you can see seven five ten six five total thirty four thousand then I click on place order now once I click on this place order I'm supposed to be taken to an upsell page but because this particular product um, I'm using this product as an upsell so it's not possible I think they did it in such a way that if the product you use for another bump offer you can still repeat that repeat the product for um, for what's it called for an upsell so because I added this product as an um, other bump offer and I use the same products as an upsell so it's either they click on this product here and they find it as an upsell or they ignore it and find it there you understand so let's say I'm using another product as my upsell now once I click on this if this has been added to my cart and I click on place order it's going to take me to that upsell which is going to be entirely another product not this product you understand you know the other time I didn't click on this and I clicked on place order it took me directly to this same particular page this um, f to a page that is showing this product too you understand that is because I didn't click on it here but if I click on it here the product will be taken away from um, this particular product because I'm using one product you understand so just go watch the other video you see the way the other bombs the upsell and the downsell would go as easy you should get everything so you click on place order this way then it takes me to the order summary page as you can see you can see it here you can see it here this is the average card value 34,000 as you can see so guys that is that about that I think with that I'll be coming to the end of this long video but I hope it's detailed and well explained so thank you guys I remain Olushola Daniel and make sure you keep having a great time